The World Health Organization has researched electromagnetic fields and their alleged effects on public health, concluding that such exposures within recommended limits do not produce any known adverse health effect. In response to public concern, the WHO established the International EMF Project in 1996 to assess the scientific evidence of possible health effects of EMF in the frequency range from 0 to 300. 100 GHz. They have stated that although extensive research has been conducted into possible health effects of exposure to many parts of the frequency spectrum, all reviews conducted so far have indicated that, as long as exposures are below the limits recommended in the ICNIRP EMF guidelines, which cover the full frequency range from 0 to 300 GHz, such exposures do not produce any known adverse health effect. Stronger or more frequent exposures to EMF can be unhealthy, and in fact serve as the basis for electromagnetic weaponry. International guidelines on exposure levels to microwave frequency EMFs such as ICNIRP limit the power levels of wireless devices and it is uncommon for wireless devices to exceed the guidelines. These guidelines only take into account thermal effects, as non-thermal effects have not been conclusively demonstrated. The official stance of the British Health Protection Agency is that t here is no consistent evidence to date that Wi-Fi and WLANs adversely affect the health of the general population, but also the Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 it is a sensible precautionary approach. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 to keep the situation under ongoing review. In 2011, International Agency for Research on Cancer (IARC), an agency of the World Health Organization, classified wireless radiation as Group 2B, possibly carcinogenic. That means that there could be some risk of carcinogenicity, so additional research into the long-term heavy use of wireless devices needs to be conducted. Topic. Exposure difference to mobile phones Users of wireless devices are typically exposed for much longer periods than for mobile phones and the strength of wireless devices is not significantly less. Whereas a universal mobile telecommunications system UMTS mobile phone can range from 21 dBm 125 milliwatts for power class 4 to 33 dBm 2 w for power class 1 a wireless router can range from a typical 15 dBm 30 milliwatts strength to 27 dBm 500 milliwatts on the high end however wireless routers are typically located significantly farther away from users' heads than a mobile phone the user is handling, resulting in far less exposure overall. The Health Protection Agency HPA says that if a person spends one year in a location with a Wi-Fi hotspot, they will receive the same dose of radio waves as if they had made a 20-minute call on a mobile phone. The HPA also says that due to the mobile phone's adaptive power ability, a decked cordless phone's radiation could actually exceed the radiation of a mobile phone. The HPA explains that while the decked cordless phone's radiation has an average output power of 10 mW, it is actually in the form of 100 bursts per second of 250 mW, a strength comparable to some mobile phones. <laughs> Wireless networking Most wireless LAN equipment is designed to work within predefined standards. Wireless access points are also often close to people, but the drop-off in power over distance is fast, following the inverse square law. However, wireless laptops are typically used close to people. 
Wi-Fi had been anecdotally linked to electromagnetic hypersensitivity but research into electromagnetic hypersensitivity has found no systematic evidence supporting claims made by sufferers. The HPA's position is that Radio frequency RF exposures from Wi-Fi are likely to be lower than those from mobile phones. It also saw less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 no reason why schools and others should not use Wi-Fi equipment in October 2007 the HPA launched a new systematic study into the effects of Wi-Fi networks on behalf of the UK government in order to calm fears that had appeared in the media in a recent period up to that time Dr. Michael Clark, of the HPA, says published research on mobile phones and masts does not add up to an indictment of Wi-Fi. See also Electromagnetic radiation and health